Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Kyla Tilly. Uh, when I found, I found this song with Jennifer's help for which part of the library I should actually look in. Um, and I was really taken by uh, the beautiful lyrics. Um, it's just a, a sort of a simple song. It's sung a cappella by Ewan McColl in the archive, who I'm a big fan of. And I thought it was uh, probably a sea shanty. It's just about riding your boat into home. Um, and I could really uh, identify with the lyrics. I've been on boats going out to Sops Island in northern Newfoundland um, and we had seals have to get out of the way and cliffs looming down on us and being hit by the spray. So I was just really in love with the lyrics. Um, but the more I looked into it, uh, I fell more and more in love with the song. Um, and I had found a couple people, I, I don't think Ewan McCall recorded it, um, well, I found the title of the song in Hebrid Seas by just Googling the first line. Uh, and the only recordings I found, Charlotte Church has done a version that's very slow and classical sounding with piano. And another woman named um, Tabitha Baylor sang it with a harp for her um, graduate recital. And that's the only other versions I found. And they only did the first two verses. They didn't sing the whole song as Ewan McColl sang it. And I had found sort of a reference to a book from the 20s um, of songs from the Hebrides for harp and piano. And uh, just yesterday, while I was here, my husband did some more digging and he found me a PDF of that book. So I've got even more interesting things to tell you that just made me love the song even more. So it's an ancient uh, walking song, which means um, while the men were out at sea singing sea shanties to get their work done, the women were singing their own songs to uh, full fabric. So they were working sheets of fabric. So there'd be a group of women with a huge sheet of fabric beating it and pounding it uh, to soften it. And the song, the songs would speed up and slow down and they might have an extra line here and there um, because it had to go with the fabric. And uh, this book um, was published, the book that, uh, I found was published by Marjorie Kennedy Fraser, who in the early 1900s went to the Hebrides to collect songs. And uh, she arranged them for piano and wrote English words. Uh, so it was, of course, originally in Gaelic. And so she wrote the English words that Ewan McColl sings in the archive. And uh, she dedicated her book to the women of the Hebrides um, who wrote these songs while they were working. So I'm uh, really, um, quite moved that here I am, I'll be singing a song that was written by women hundreds of years ago that was then found by another woman 110 years ago and I guess saved and published. And um, maybe you're watching this video and it's 22, 29 and you're a woman looking for songs to sing and I hope that happens and that this song can continue. This is In Hebrid Seas. Green lies the dancing water, green purple barbed with gold, brown winged by flies o'er her, brown winged I lap the water, white the keel that curling wavelet tosses high spring round. Hey man doch here yo ro, hey man doch here yo, leaving the loose to leeward, blithely a sailing seaward, white the keel that curling wavelet Tosses high spring round. Tawny the shelving shore, Tawny the seals that rise, Plunging beneath the water, Plunging in sharp surprise, With eyes of fear and wild alarm, As the white ship fast thither flies.